On the line we have Rafael Casillas who's going to be making his way into the ring on December 15th in Houston, Texas under Top Rank Promotions. Rafael, what's going on, man? Not much. I just uh, got up my day job. I'm about to head home and uh, get some stuff and head to the gym so I can cut and wait. This year's been a busy year for you. You went from you know, from a manager, you went from uh, matchmaking, fighter, almost an MMA fighter, and now you're back in the ring. I mean, I mean, talk us through, I mean, this whole year. How, how's it been for you, and what made you decide to, you know, step back into the ring? Um, I mean, the whole year has just been awesome. It's just, I love the fight game. I love all aspects of the fight game. So um, I was not scared to go ahead and, and test my hand at all parts, and don't be surprised to see me doing or at least helping some uh, some more matchmaking than come 2013. Um, as far as getting in the ring, um, I decided to to stop managing for a while. Um, I, I have since split up. Um, me and Donnie Bedford have gone our separate ways, so I'm not at Fitness Fight Back this more. So I am... Uh, I'm working a, a full-time job nowadays, and, and I decided I have more time to uh, focus on myself. And, you know, the fighting is just something that I love. You know, Raphael, um, it's interesting that you said that, you know, you, you stop, you know, you decided to stop managing for a while and just focus on yourself. Do you think that doing that just opened, you know, an opportunity for you to take on an undefeated fighter, Tremaine Williams? Oh, I mean, I'm I'm a guy that fights anybody, and, and when promoters see a record like me, Tremaine, he's an undefeated prospect. Um, yeah, they're bringing me in pretty much to lose, um, and I know that. That's why I love those type of fights, you know? I have nothing to lose. Right. You know, I'm, I'm going in there to go try and spoil somebody's day. You're someone who likes to bang and likes to stay in the pocket. Did you make any changes for um, Tremaine, and, and do you know anything about him, like how he fights? Um, as, as far as I know, he's, a, he's your typical boxer. Um, Ray, Ray uh, he managed in his camp. They know this kid very well. Um, he helped me out a lot. Um, even my trainer, Vincent, has seen him fight a couple of times. So yeah, we're very well prepared. We know what he's going to do. Um, I'm not too really worried about what he does because I'm going to do what I always come to do. I'm going to get in his face. I'm going to put my head in his chest, and I'm going to try to make it an ugly fight. From what I've seen with Tremaine, I mean, he's... He's fought people, you know, from, from his first fight all the way to his last fight, own one, own one, two and one, and one and six. So he's really stepped up as far as experience to fight someone like you. I mean, he's playing a 32-year-old man, not a 20-year-old kid. Right. Right. And, that, and that's, a, that's a huge plus. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to do some things that he's probably not seen yet. Being that he's fought guys that are own one, one. Uh, 0-2, oh, 1-6, he's probably fought guys that are uh, not used to the pro game yet, and I'm going to, I mean, my, my intention is to introduce him to the pro game. When I last saw you, um, you, you, you were saying that you needed to lose some weight, and you know, you, you thought about getting back in the, in, in the fight game, so, I mean, I'm sure, you know, the weight's coming off, because, you know, you wouldn't be going into the ring this weekend. <laughs> Yeah, my weight looks good. I started camp off uh, six weeks ago at 146 pounds. I woke up this morning um, about 127. So I'm, I'm really comfortable. I'm not going to have to cut a ton of weight. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to the gym, give me a nice little sweat on. But I'm not even starting to cut weight. I'll probably still eat tomorrow before I start to cut the last two or three pounds off tomorrow. And I'm sure him being young and fighting in the amateur rankings, because in amateur, there's a lot of speed in, in amateur. So did you have to make any changes as far as trying to compete with his speed? I didn't make any changes. The way I prepared for him was working with guys like Ray and Tony, who, are, who fight like him, you know. Uh, both Ray and Tony are supremely fast. Um, they both have power. And... And they're both similar to, they both can emulate his style. You know, they can, both of those kids can stand in the middle and, and box with me. Or if they want to, they can they can use their footwork and, and move around a whole lot more. And, and it helped me a whole lot during camp working with those two guys. I saw on Facebook that you said you were going to, you know, 
um, fight soon, and, and and the rumor was you were going to do an MMA fight. It, was that is that true? Were you planning on stepping into this in, into the cage? I was planning on stepping on into the cage, um, and I'm, it's still not out of the question. Mm -hmm. um, I I am a blue belt in jujitsu. I've I've trained. I mean, I was with Tony for a long time. Um, I I've trained with him. I've trained with Chad Kelly. Uh, tons of wrestlers, um, and I would, it's not something I'd be uncomfortable doing. Um, anybody you want to give a shout out to? Yeah, uh, first and foremost, uh, God, because I've, I've really come to know him during this camp, um, and he's really given me a different, helped me get a different outlook on the sport, on life in general, and, and pretty much everything. Um, uh, obviously, my team at, at Reyes Boxing, Coach Benson, Tony, Carlos, Richard Best, uh, Tony Lopez, my spar partner, Tony Lopez, and Ray Jimenez, all those guys at Reyes that were there. My sponsors, of course, uh, Jacqueline Huxford and, and Doc Garcia, who do my nutrition. Uh, I fetish uh, apparel and Randy King Insurance. And, you know, I mean... You know, you know, as a fighter, how much sponsors help so much with training expenses and stuff like that. Um, and I, I, last but not least, I could not do this without my wife, um, who always sticks by me no matter what. Um, it'll be this Saturday in Houston, Texas, and it's at the uh, Toyota Convention Center, am I correct? It, it's at the Toyota Center in Houston, and, um, you know, I'm really excited for this fight. I would love to... Uh, fight again here in, in the Metroplex after this, regardless of what happens. I mean, when I step in the ring this Saturday, what's going to happen is whatever God's will is, um, I, I'm just going to go out there and do do my best, and God probably has, has the winner pick. So um, I'd like to fight again after that in the uh, Metroplex. Somebody get, get with uh, Paul A. Ayala, get with Standing A Promotions, and let them know, you know, I want to I fight. I, I like to give the fans a show. Again, I'm Lisa Marie, and you're listening to UFFL Combat TV, and thank you, Rafael. Good luck.